What's going on guys? Today we're back and I'm going to be showing you how I heat wrap my exhaust manifold. So stay tuned, let's get into it. One bolt out, one bottom, and then I gotta get this one out, and then I'll do the top bolts. All the nuts and bolts are out, and I'm just gonna get this out and uh, show you. gonna get away with not taking the bumper off it looks like I'm gonna have to manifold out so let's get to wrapping I wish I had four arms so I could Feel myself wrapping this. Basically, I'm gonna go around the entire bottom, all three up until about here, and then I'm gonna separate it and then wrap each one individually. Okay, the first one turned out very messy because I ran out. So I've just like gone to the end. No, I couldn't cut this off. Does this cut? Okay, hang on. Well, I messed that one up. Luckily it came with spares. It cut, lady. It cut, ladies and... Cut. It cut, ladies and gentlemen. Just needed a bit of elbow grease. Last two. Done. I need to fix that. Um, yeah, on to the third one. And there we have it, folks. All wrapped up. Now let's put it back in. Manifold's wrapped and back in. Let's put the bumper back on and uh, go for a little drive. <laughs>
now to check under the bonnet to see if it's actually hot under there. Let's take a look. Wow. Actually feels kind of cold under there. Feel the heat, but I can actually touch it. So yeah, intake still nowhere near warm. It's great, it's actually warm. Isn't it? Basically, the whole point of this, as the engine well, manifold gets hot, it'll, it'll heat up the engine bay unless the heat's contained. So with it all wrapped like this, the engine bay stays nice and cool. And then, so does the intake. Thanks for watching today's video guys. If you liked it then please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video.